usual suspects. What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk oh, in? Here. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Well, we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Fuck off. Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that's just like an asshole. Right. Is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Hello, Miss Snow. On that job. Drinking <laughs> this tipsy. early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. Half the 
Jean has been freed. <laughs> Aladdin. Was it one of the genie's rules not to make anybody immortal? Like, can't make people fall in love. You can't bring back the undead. And uh, I forgot the third rule. There are like three rules. Well, actually, if you become a genie, you can become immortal. Well, that's so. not what I have here. I can look so that's not one of the rules. So yeah, you can't become immortal. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes. That's not a problem. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Mirror, mirror, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be Take seen. Take buildings. Okay. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Snow's right behind me now, but you know, fuck it. Show me Snow White. <laughs> Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Okay. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. a single piece of it besides that lamp. Supposed to draw three cards. Damn. Damn. So what the fuck is this supposed to mean?
We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Takes no one. It takes no one here at thugs, man. God damn. <laughs> That the better. Hey, look at your girl. Yeah, that's me. Back when. Uh, yeah, back when you're pure. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met. Remember? Yeah. Silver. Him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Bestiality. Beauty and happier days. Yeah, I kind of prefer her as a brunette. Which is a brunette, she was smarter. Now she's kind of, uh, broken. Man, beast. Funny. Yeah, so human he's a bit of a dick. As the beast, he was okay. Still a dick, but okay. Colin and his brothers. Who the hell is that? seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit hey, more. Hey, Mark Glass, too. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Politics. Well... Maybe it's time that changed. <laughs> Sound like you want to take over, Snow? I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. How far back can I go? Ooh. That's a nice sword. Okay. X. I was playing Skyrim way back when. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bubkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Cinderella. Rags to riches. Oh. 
What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Quite a lot. So again, part of toad shit. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing. I only translate. Let's see. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairau? I'll go look it up. Alairairau. Means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. Yeah, that's smart. You think he it's did not it? not a suspect. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. See any more information on that uh, donkey skin thing? What's it say about that? It says brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? My magic word. What's it do? It makes animal shit go. Seriously? No, oh, I can't open the door yet. Oh, wait, what the hell is that? Big ass rhino head. <laughs> Holy shit. Thing is huge. Oh, got a mirror. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Hmm. 
Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips huh. are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Big B. It's simply the way this has to be. It seems kind of suspicious. Okay, I don't know if I saw this name, so... He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Hmm. Show me Faith's father. The old king. Oh. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Sorry. Like in the Matrix. We have to get that. Hello, Woodlands Oh Office. shit, no! <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> yes, I... He is. Hold on. Big B. It's for you. Big B! It's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Uh. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He probably split up. Could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince? He was kind of chilling at home now. Let's see. Let's see what the hell Toad's on about. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Here. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. I'm gonna kick some rocks up, see what we can dig up. Well, see what we can get. I don't think I said I saying goes to that. I want to kick some rocks up, see what I can find. There we go. It's like the husband's a suspect, but. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than a day. Is somebody up there? Yep. Fat bastard. 
wait here. This apartment building is like nerds like back entrances and all this shit. Fire escapes. Shit. Back entrance. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this right shit. There. Let's investigate. Let's put on my high-tech glasses. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a, a guy? Street Fighter? Or a Scrapper? Let's see. Scan the room. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. never did much reading anyway. Knock. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice to him, okay? Nice. Hey, Toad, you in there? And Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Mm -hmm. I'm here. So what you want to talk about? Sorry, Bigby. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. It's Nothing but I a saw. leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a it's cup of tea. Whatever bullshit. you like. Whew. Grown-ups. <laughs> all right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, Fine. Often. Seem kind of in a hurry to live. Hmm. Not 
this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Or the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? I don't think so. Busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Some wood rot, not mold or anything. He's bleeding. Why? You say it's blood, still fresh. Oh well, I cut me hand. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got yeah, some okay. furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Well, I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. You know what I think happened? Hey, someone came in, hit you with this shit. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. You're king of bullshit. Honest. We'll see. Clean space in the dust. Did like you that lamp? something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. Yes. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Hmm. 
parks. There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh. Well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Bet it did. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens I'm album yet? Subject. was home. Why didn't he let you in? It was the middle of a sodding night, Big B. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say, to my face, that you think I'm you hiding are. something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad. You can help the process along, you know. Ow! Oh. How am I going to help the process along? Hi, Toad. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman ain't. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows yeah. things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We we'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I'm sorry. Fate. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising right, day for all of us, hasn't it? it? 
I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. <laughs> 